Hi there, good afternoon. Welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kwao. The cleaning and inspection of the West African gas uh, pipeline from Nigeria to Ghana begins today. The Ministry of Energy says the customary maintenance activity is intended to protect the integrity and assure safe operations of WAPCO's offshore pipeline, which is the main critical asset of the company transporting natural gas within the four West African states of Nigeria, Benin, Togo, and Ghana. The exercise is expected to be completed no later than March 21 this year. In addition to the cleaning of pipeline of debris, the process will provide inf critical information on the condition of the pipeline to improve decisions on effective maintenance, prolong its lifespan, and to improve safety of pipeline operations. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and President Kufuado this week are expected to sign a £40 million agreement which will see the construction of a new terminal as part of the upgrade of the Kumasi Airport. The facility, which forms part of a pre-financing arrangement between the two countries, will be disbursed under the UK after the uk Africa summit, which has begun today. In London, here's UK High Commissioner to Ghana, Ian Walker. Um, we have... Um we have invested two things, particularly the airport. Um, so uh, the airport extension, which means that larger uh, planes can land there. Uh, and also what we'll be announcing, uh, particularly at this summit, is uh, a further £40 million through UK export finance, which will be the, the building of the terminal building uh, in, in Kumasi. Um, so uh, let me just say a word on that. I'll expand on other projects, but just a word on why we think that matters and why I think this kind of concept of fusing our thinking uh, matters. So first of all, uh, that is a focus on private sector, um, uh, focus on private sector participation, exactly what we want. It's not about aid. It's about how do we get more investment and more private sector provision here. But it is also, for me, about development. But it's about the private sector playing a key part in development. The, Kumasi, as you know better than me, is a massive hub uh, of commercial uh, activity. As we know, in every country in the world, second cities perform such a vital role in the kind of dynamism of an economy. That's particularly true, uh, I think, in Kumasi, given its critical regional role uh, there. We've already, I think, as you know, uh, invested funding in the Kajetia market uh, in Kumasi. We're not announcing that as part of the summit because we've announced that uh, before. But the, the investment in phase two of Kajetia market is a huge, uh, I think, step forward about modernizing the conditions in which people uh, work and which con conditions in which people uh, trade. Now, ahead of the implementation of the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement, the Ghanaian businesses are being cautioned against the uh, repatriation of profits to advanced countries. According to the president of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport Ghana, Ibo Hamon, local businesses need to work closely with neighboring countries in order to make more gains. He spoke to Joy Business at the official launch of the Africa Forum 2020 to be held in March this year. Bismarck Ausa has more. The Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport Ghana is pushing for more partnership among Ghanaian firms to ensure that the country benefits from the continental free trade deal. The pact is expected to go live from July this year but there are fears that local businesses could lose out. But in an interview, president of the institute, Ebo Hamon, says there could be a way out. If you look at money moving around and economic development, every region trade among themselves first before they trade uh, with other people. In Asia, they really trade among themselves more than even they trade with the international world. So what we have to do is that if there's any money, it should be kept within Africa. And then it's spread for everybody and not to go outside the continent. And when it also happens like that, it means that people also see us as a single market. And so when somebody is coming to Ghana, he doesn't see only Ghana, about 30 million people. He's seen Ghana together with Nigeria and then South Africa and everybody. And there's more business news to come on the marketplace in about 15 minutes. Do stay tuned. Up next, sports.